this. It all starts at the cowl. Um, the whole inside of the cowl box is sealed off and it's lined with stuff called cool mat. Here's a little piece of cool mat. It's a great heat barrier. It's silicon. It's got a rubberized kind of front on it. Not really rubber, but a silicon kind of rubber front on it. And a um, silicon material woven backing on it. Um, all silicon. That thick. Great heat barrier. But the whole box is lined with that on all sides. So it's insulated from um, the firewall side, from underneath, from the cockpit side. And then that all feeds out here into the engine compartment. It feeds out from that center wide section and the two ends on it. And that all comes together. I'll show you how. Hold on, I gotta get it. So it breathes like that. A little stuff with a piece of air quip hose or duct hose like that. You take a little piece of the end of it off and you peel it back and double it over and you make a nice finished end on it. So once that's hooked up, it's breathing through the cowl, and then I've got the center, the center piece here is actually an old K&N stub stack that you can see around the edges here that just tapers that transition really nicely into the carburetor instead of going down and just hitting that big flat surface. <clears throat> Instead of just going down and hitting this big flat surface. But you can see the way that comes down and how that makes such a nice transition into the rest of the carburetor. It just takes air coming over here and just goes shoo. I like the divider between the primaries and the secondaries because it keeps the velocity up when you're only on the primaries. Then it's just a four inch filter. So there's plenty of room, there's plenty of air. Um, it all comes through the cowl. And uh, I'll show you the bottom. And you can of that see now. the way that's cut out. There's actually a little ring along the edge that just seats the carburetor um, flange onto this. Eventually, I'll make this piece out of aluminum, but for right now, I'm just kind of working on this. Here's another little interesting piece. This um, gasket around the base of the flange of the carburetor. I cut those. And they're cutting the lawn outside. I cut those out of old carburetor gaskets. Just lay the old one on it. Give it a quick shot of paint. That marks it. And then you can cut it out pretty easy. And I can just... But that trims it back up. So now you know what's under there. It's kind of dead on the end here. This is a low pressure area, air coming over the hood when the hood's closed, air coming over the hood, hitting the windshield here, the air wants to go up or the air wants to go down more. And this is a low pressure area here, so air just goes down in there better than if there was a scoop facing forward out into the air. NASCAR draws all the area that way. It's just the better way to do it. That's the way it wants to breathe. That's all I got. NASCAR does it that way, and you got to figure, if it's 180 degrees under the hood and it's 80 degrees outside, figure 1% for every 10 degrees. So that's 8% increase in horsepower. How much is that for your car? It's a bunch for this one.